I'm Jonathan Joyner, and you are at the Hunt the Front Race Shop in Milton, Florida. Hunt the Front is a YouTube channel that we started to show, basically show what we do here in our racing program. We, uh, we, go, we work on the race cars, make videos of that. We go racing um, and make videos of that, just showing what we do as, as dirt late model racers. Well, like, you know, we were racing, you know, long before all the YouTube stuff got going and uh, we were out at my dad's shop and, you know, basically just struggling to get to the racetrack every week, you know, just uh, like your regular uh, weekly race team, you know, we tried hard and basically uh, spent every dime we could muster up to be able to go race and uh, kind of still do, you know, but, uh, but you know, we had, we had stuff, you know, obviously subpar equipment that you know we kind of struggled with here there and yonder but we won we won races you know we, we, are, we were able to get it done a lot but I didn't expect it to ever you know become what this is but now never would have thought we had actually made it the way that we did especially. Uh, we got four of us me Joseph Jesse and Joshua uh, that kind of make all this happen and then obviously our wives um, and all of our family but then we got a lot of friends that, that show up and help uh, when they can um, but usually it's you know it's us in here working, making things happen, making the videos, working on the race cars, doing all the things behind the scenes just to you know get to the track. So uh, it takes takes a lot of us, takes a lot of support from all our friends and family, and then just you know working together to make it happen. How I got involved with uh, the Hunter Front is uh, me and Joseph. We've been best friends since about the third grade. I think they brought a, a show and tell to school one time. He brought his dirt bike because he raced dirt bikes. And, and I ride four wheelers and stuff back then. So we just kind of hit it off and we grew up, you know, he started driving the dirt cars. And that's that's pretty much how I got introduced to the, the racing, you know, sport is, is Joseph started driving the dirt cars. And, you know, I, I, we, were, we were best friends. So I pretty much went everywhere with him, hung out at the shop with him, spent my summers at the shop. Uh, and. You know, it, it, you went from just going local to I'd go out of town with them and we'd go off racing. And, you know, growing up, as we got older, it's like I, I always wanted for him to be able to have opportunity to race at, you know, a higher level of the sport because I thought he was great at it, you know, and I, I still do. I'm going to catch him, though. So we started a YouTube channel three years ago. It was kind of a spur of the moment type of thing. Uh, I saw a motorcycle, motocross channel that basically was doing what we do now for our race team. We were at a beach house with, uh, for a friend's birthday, a bunch of family there and friends, and it was raining. So all the kids were stuck inside and they were just glued to the TV watching this YouTuber. And I'm like, you know what, we could do that for, for our racing. Um, Joshua, me and him talked about it um, quite a bit and finally I said, let's just do it. And so the next race we went to, um, March of 2019 that would have been uh, down at Bubba Raceway Park in Ocala. We just pulled out our iPhones and started videoing. Um, never had edited a video at all in my life, um, but somehow figured out how to put it together into a video, put it on YouTube, and here we are three years hey, later. Hey, I'm Jonathan from Hunt the Front. It's about 7.30 Saturday morning. It's race day. When it comes to those who support us, uh, whether it's watching our YouTube videos or, or paying for our content through Patreon and our pay-per-views that we put on, um, you know, we try to provide something of, of um, value to them. And, you know, we, we're always looking for ways to improve what we're doing. You know, when we go live before every race uh, for our Patreon supporters um, and for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we go live after the race. And sometimes, it's, I think it's pretty cool, we'll pull up a video, the video of the race, I think it was at Alltech, um, Joseph got turned around and, and we were literally watching the video showing the, 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 the supporters, um, you know, what happened and talking, like doing like tape review right there, you know, 30, less than 30 minutes after the race uh, with our supporters and, you know, there's anywhere from, you know, 50 to 100 people because it's at a certain level of our Patreon, the, the top level to, to access that. Um, you know, but anywhere from 50 to 100 people tuning in and watching that, it's, you know, after the races at 11 o'clock or whatever it is, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, that's one way we've tried to expand what we're doing. Uh, we've, since we started Patreon, we, we started a podcast originally. It was just audio. Um, we you know, were in the process of building a studio and we added video to that. We've got a lot more we want to do with that and, and improving our, our studio and our, our pod, uh, video podcast setup. Um, but we're always looking at ways to expand and, and, and offer more uh, to those who support us. Uh, our dirt light model cars are all tube chassis. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different chassis manufacturers across the country, bolt on lightweight components, you know, purpose-built race car that's, uh, you know, I think they weigh uh, anywhere between 
you know, 2,300 to 2,400 pounds, depending on, uh, you know, engine combinations and stuff and rules and stuff like that. Uh, run a, you know, big, a big 14-inch uh, tire. You know, uh, there's really, in, in the Super Late model part of the Dirt Late models, there's really not much of an engine rule. You can kind of, you know, as long as it's naturally aspirated, you know. The main thing about the, the dirt stuff is obviously finding traction, you know, so, you know, you, know you, you can get crazy building a motor, but you still got to be able to make it go fast, you know, with traction. So there, there's a balance there on all that, and basically what it comes down to is having all the motor you need, but, you know, being able to, you know, get it to the ground and get going forward. So, you know, the main struggle through the night is being able to accomplish that, and whoever does it best usually wins the race, you know, so. A lot, of, a lot of mechanical stuff involved there. You know. Yeah, racing definitely has downs, uh, but I, that's why we do it, though. You know, the racing in general, it's. There's a lot of downs, but whenever you do do great, it's it's the most rewarding thing I think in the world, or that I've experienced. It's one of the most rewarding things that you can do is is win a race, and then and then you get knocked down, and that going back out and doing well again is what brings you back to the back to the sport. Um, the adrenaline rush of driving a race car and succeeding uh, it makes up for the downs. It makes up for the lows. I think if you're a race team in uh, 2022 or, or really at any point beyond this, and you're not making content, you're missing out. You're missing the boat. Um, you know, that's what this sport is driven by, you know, at least for people like us who, who don't come from uh, a big budget, you know, a big back, you know, we're not uh, funded, um, you know, very well. We had to go out and find a way to create our own funding and uh, the internet these days allows you to do that. Um, you know, any of the social, me social media platforms are willing to pay for content, uh, for good content. YouTube, you know, for us has worked out really well. But you just taking out your phone, putting in a selfie mode after a race and standing there in front of your car and talking about how you did, uh, you're going to grow an audience. Um, that's where I would suggest starting is just trying to, you know, Facebook is one of the biggest platforms out there. We do a lot on Facebook. Um, you know, I would start there. That's where we started before we started a YouTube channel. We had a little bit of a following on Facebook. Um, you know, video content right now is king. You know, if you can't do anything but post pictures, start by posting pictures, but you need to get start doing video. Um, most of, I think most folks understand if you're going, you know, making a video from a racetrack, they're not looking for the best quality, possible quality. And if you shoot it on your cell phone, uh, right there in the pits, they're gonna, you know, probably like that. Um, and again, you just you're getting yourself out there, you're getting your sponsors out there, you're, you're growing your audience, and uh, eventually you'll find new ways to promote yourself and and, and create better and, and uh, uh, more content and just continue to grow. You know, sometimes being a, a really good and fast race team winning races isn't necessarily, you know, best for content. You know, there's a lot of things you could do, you know, on YouTube to get more attention, to get more views. It isn't necessarily just working on a race car to try to go win the next race. So it's a happy balance between we really, ultimately our goal is to win races and to be a top level dirt late model team. So you got to balance that with also entertaining the people who are watching our videos, trying to grow our audience, trying to explore new ways of reaching people, but at the same time staying true to where we started and what we really want to do, which is win races with these race cars. Uh, where's going next for us? I mean, we have a lot of, you know, I feel like we have a lot of paths open to us. We're very fortunate and very blessed to, to have that. Um, I know, you know, what we want to focus on is, is having a, uh, a really competitive race team. Um, you know, we, that's yeah, that's our ultimate goal was to win races, to go to big races, and be competitive, and and you know, be the one of the best dirt late model teams there is. I think we have the driver capable of doing it. Um, we're working on our program with our, our our cars and our engines to get there as well. Um, so that's that's our goal. But at the same time, we know that we have an opportunity uh, on the content creation side, on the event promotion side. Um, you know, we're working on, you know, right now our big focus is, you know, serving our Patreon supporters um, with more content, better content there. Um, at the same time, we do want to improve what we're doing on YouTube, um, but, you know, adding a, a unique and different content there. What's next for Hunt the Front? I don't know. To the moon, baby. I don't know. Um, hopefully, we'll be a lot more competitive with our super late model program with Joseph uh, driving and uh, be more competitive. We got a really good crate program. And I'm hoping, you know, in the future we'll have uh, just as good as a super program as we do a crate program. Uh, and ultimately just grow as a team and, and just keep climbing, you know, and I don't know where the top is, but hopefully we get there. 
So to, to follow us uh, here at Hunt the Front, I think you know, obviously the best way is just, you know, look us up on YouTube. Um, you know, that's where we post uh, the, our core of our content, our vlogs that, that people seem to like uh, for some reason. But um, so I highly suggest checking that out. Um, Huntthefront.net is our website and has links to all our social media uh, pages where you can follow us. We try to, our Facebook page is more, we try to do more live up to the minute updates when we're at a race. So we're posting results, posting how we do pictures and all that. Um, so if you want to, you know, watch the YouTube videos and not be spoiled about knowing what happens, you might not want to follow us on Facebook, but, um, but definitely check us out on YouTube, uh, patreon.com slash hunt the front if you want to support us, um, be a part of our uh, HTF Nation fan club, uh, and then htfmerch.com by Ace Merchandise. I'm Jonathan Joyner. I'm Joshua Joyner. And I'm Jesse Endergan. I am Joseph Joyner. And I am PRI.